Hey there, this is Mr. Masonette, and in this tutorial, we're going to practice using the Pythagorean theorem to work with composite shapes. So what we have here is actually a trapezoid, so it technically doesn't look like a composite shape. However, we can break the shape into a right triangle and a rectangle. Now, by doing this, what we should notice is that we have an edge of a rectangle that is 9 inches, which means the opposite edge is going to be 9 inches. So from this point to this point, we know that it is a distance of 9 inches. Now, from this point all the way to this point, we can see that we have a distance of 17 inches. So the distance from this point to this point must be 8 because 8 plus 9 more is equal to 17 inches. Now that's important because we have to find the value of x. And notice x is the hypotenuse of this right triangle that we just created. Now to figure out what x is equal to, we need to know the length of each one of our triangle's legs. Now we know that this bottom one here is 8, and this leg right here is going to be 6, because opposite sides of rectangles are congruent to each other. So now we know what the length of each one of our legs are, so let's go ahead and plug it into our equation. Now, when I am looking for the hypotenuse, instead of doing a squared plus b squared equals c squared, an alternative to this is to say that the value of c, which is our hypotenuse, is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our two legs, which are 6 and 8, and plug them into this equation. So we're going to take 6 squared and add that to 8 squared. And after solving everything underneath this radical symbol, we're going to take the square root of that total. So we're going to square 6, which is 36, and square 8, which is 64. And to figure out what C is, we just take the square root of 100. And we would say that C is equal to 10 inches. However, it says solve for x. I'm just so used to using c as a hypotenuse that I just automatically did that. So we really should say that x is equal to 10 inches. All right, let's go ahead to the next problem. Okay, what we have right here is a composite shape. We have a right triangle on top of a square. And it says it right in the problem that we have a right triangle and a square. And we have to figure out the length of the square's diagonal, which is this distance right here, to the nearest centimeter, which means the nearest whole number. So we should just assume that we're going to have some sort of decimal in our answer, and then we're going to have to round it at the end. All right, so to figure out the length of this diagonal, what we're going to do is take the square and look at it as two right triangles. So if I wanted to figure out the length of this line right here, I would have to know the length of this leg of our right triangle and this leg. And that is not given. We have to figure out what that is. And because the length of each side of any square is congruent, we can just figure out what the length of this line is from here to here, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle right here. Now, we can see that we have a right angle right here, which means that 3 and 4 are the legs that form that right angle. So let's go ahead and square both of those legs. Now, after squaring the legs, you're supposed to add those legs, and then you can take the square root of that calculation, and that is what C is going to be equal to. So let's go ahead and square both of those numbers. We have 9 plus 16, and that's going to give us a total of 25, and the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So we know that this length right here is 5 centimeters, as is the other sides of our square, because a square is nothing but four equal sides that all form right angles. Now, what we can do now is we can just take a look at half of our square. Let's just look at this right triangle right here. And we have this leg right here, which is 5, and this leg right here, which is 5. So what we're going to do is square both of these legs. So we have 5 squared plus 5 squared. And we have to take the square root of that, and that is going to be the value of our hypotenuse. 
So we have the square root of 25 plus 25. And now we have the square root of 50. Now, 50 is not a perfect square. However, 49 is a perfect square, and it is super close to 50. And we should know that the square root of 49 is equal to 7. So that means our answer is going to be like 7 point barely anything over 7. So I'm going to assume here that our answer is going to be approximately equal to 7 centimeters. But let's just bust out the calculator so we can see what that actually is. All right, so let's go ahead and punch 50 into our calculator and hit the square root button. And we get 7.07 and a bunch of numbers. This is an irrational value. Now, if we were rounding to the nearest tenth, we would have 7.1. But we are rounding to the nearest centimeter, which means the nearest whole number. And this is not enough to round it up to an eight. So it's going to be seven centimeters. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.